Despite the Syria dispute overshadowing the G20 summit's focus on the economy, participants are trying to forge a united front on growth, trade, banking transparency and companies paying their fair share of contributions to government treasuries. Our correspondent says the leaders of developed and developing nations are set to back a plan to crack down on global tax evasion and avoidance. The business world has long argued it's simply putting shareholders first by exploiting fiscal loopholes and shifting profits overseas. But with government finances under such strain, leaders here have decided it's time to get tough on the tax evaders. The Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development's top tax official says corporate tax loopholes and evaders distort the world's economy. The point is that you need to have fair competition. You don't need to have a system where, because you get organized and you play on the existing rules, you pay taxes nowhere because you put all your intangible property, the value, your assets, in no-tax jurisdictions where you have no activity. This is not fair competition. This is unfair. This is not good for growth. This is not good for the economy. And that's why we are tackling this. As well as the automatic exchange of tax information between countries to target individual tax dodgers, the G. 20 participants will also focus on major international companies. That follows a series of scandals involving companies such as Apple, Starbucks, Amazon and Google who've been accused of aggressively exploiting cross-border loopholes to lessen their tax burden. The European Commission estimates that tax dodging, both legal and illegal, costs the EU 1 trillion euros annually.